Dexter Season 3 episode review video. Before I get to that, though, pretty important. If you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching Dexter, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention as well as put in the description for you. If that happens to be the case and you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be Dexter Season 3, Episode 10. The title of this episode is called Go Your Own Way. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. Dexter, Rita, Miguel, and Syl are out for dinner. Dexter's inner narration is going over scenarios to get rid of Miguel Prado. And Miguel says that him and Syl are going to pay for the, the food or the catering at the wedding. Des Dexter asks Rita while in a traffic jam due to con some construction going on, do we have to serve food at the wedding? And Rita's like, yes, we have to serve food at the wedding, dumbass. Rita's not too happy about that. Then we find out that Deb was actually babysitting Aster and Cody uh, while they're, they were out for dinner. Uh, Anton was also there. Was Deb really capable of being a babysitter? She's kind of a loose cannon. Oh, well, I guess if Dexter trusts her. Dexter asks Deb, does this mean that he's your plus one for the wedding? And Deb doesn't necessarily look too confident about that. LaGuerta has a suspect for the Ellen Wolf murder. It's Toby Edwards. He was the bartender that was serving them drinks that night that they were out. Batista sends Soderquist and Ramos to get an address on Toby Edwards and haul his ass in. Ellen Wolf is missing a wedding ring. She had two and she's missing one. And Dexter thinks Miguel might have kept it to be a trophy. Masuka is taking donations for Dexter's bachelor party. Batista wants Masuka to keep it low key. Nothing illegal or he'll arrest Masuka. Quinn gives Deb the surveillance report from Anton's protect protective detail to Deb. And as he's doing this, Soderquist is making or is on the phone at his desk in the background as he's always in the background everywhere you look. Dexter was in Miguel's office playing a game waiting for Miguel so he could talk to him about the break in the Ellen Wolf case and Dexter tells Miguel he doesn't want a partner he never did Barbara Gianni was attacked apparently she's been telling people Batista snores like a motherfucker okay Batista wants Dexter to test a key for blood and it's got to be priority he's got to put everything else aside because this is important LaGuerta is questioning Toby Edwards, the bartender from their night of drinking, and Toby confesses that, yeah, he was going to Ellen Wolf's place, but he didn't kill her. He says he saw an SUV with really high beams uh, there that night. Rita is trying on wedding dresses in front of Syl, and Syl thinks that Rita looks gorgeous and amazing, and I have to admit, Rita does look really good in the wedding dress, even though I can't stand Rita as a character on Dexter. LaGuerta gets mad at Dexter because his key uh, doesn't have a case number on it. Masuka is mad that Erotic Cloud just canceled. So Quinn gives Masuka a, a contingency plan for the bachelor party because Quinn has planned millions of those. Quinn talks to Anton with Soderquist in the background and Soderquist is always there. You may not notice him, but he's always there. And Quinn mentions that, you know, he... Anton was off the books, not really technically a CI. He just wanted to keep it off the books. And Anton didn't know that because Deb just told him it was a clerical error. So because of this, Anton punches Quinn due to him keeping him off the books. And then Anton calls Deb out at the station. Clerical error, my ass. Anton wants Deb to seriously think about their relationship. Uh, LaGuerta has drinks with Miguel at uh, LaGuerta's place. After talking... Uh, LaGuerta and Miguel start to kiss. Oh boy. Dexter shows up to explain the key things. I think Miguel might have been planning to kill LaGuerta there, possibly. And that's why Dexter showed up. And then Syl shows up at LaGuerta's place to confront Miguel, uh, potentially cheating on her. So why doesn't everybody just show up? It's a party at LaGuerta's, apparently. Miguel leaves and LaGuerta notices the high beams on his SUV. And it's blue or black, or it's black, and that's what the uh, Toby said. Uh, it was blue or black. And then Dexter is mad, or I should say, Miguel is mad that Dexter sent Syl over to LaGuerta's. And Dexter says, surprisingly, it wasn't him, it was Rita. And then Dexter goes snooping in Miguel's dead at home, and Dexter finds Ellen Wolf's missing ring in Miguel's cigar case, or 
Maybe they call it a cigar box, but it's a case. And then Miguel notices the ring is missing out of the cigar case. And Miguel tells Dexter he'll do whatever he wants to whomever he wants. And then we see Miguel talk to George King. And he knows what George King is. And Dexter says it's uh, back to option one. He kills Miguel. And then the episode ends with Dexter getting a bag put over his head. And thrown into a trunk of the car. Or a trunk of a car. So Dexter may be in some trouble here. Interesting stuff. Um, this was okay episode. I, I think some of the characters need to be developed better. Like Batista and Masuka need more time. You keep giving Deb, LaGuerta, and Miguel all the, the high moments in the episodes. But, I mean, it is what it is. As far as a score for this one, I'm going to give it an 8.7 out of 10. My standout characters of the episode for our ladies, I'm going to give it to Maria LaGuerta. And for the guys, Miguel Prado continues to be the male character of the episode. Um, just because he has so much time on this show. It would be nice to develop Quinmore or Batista or Masuka, but we get Miguel. So uh, you've heard what I have to say, and maybe Soderquist will be the character of the episode soon. Who knows? I can't remember if he has a speaking line in the show or not. I don't think he does, but maybe he does. I don't know. Uh, but, of course, you've heard what I have to say now. Of course, it is your turn. If you are a fan of Dexter or Dexter New Blood or anything else that's on JDF TV and just want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, that's the key thing, uh, make sure you smash that like button. I'll wait because it doesn't take you long at all. If you hit it, great. Sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode. Who would you rate as the character of the episode? You can do a male and female. Your score of the episode. And if you want your favorite moment. Sorry, my throat's getting really dry, so that's why I keep pausing. Lips are dry, whatever. I'm getting better, though, because of the nose thing. It's it's improving. Obviously, the ear looks like crap still, but um, I'm able to slightly breathe out of my nose now, but that's beside the point. Make sure you share the video with whomever you want or any of your social media platforms. And, of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel. You're already watching the video, so you might as well subscribe. Join the team. Show your day of support and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.